Good morning. It is 8.55 a.m. on Monday the 30th of September. It is raining, it is miserable, but it's time for today in my boo journal. How are you? You alright? I'm good. I feel better. Better than I did, so I'm getting there. Um, I'm hacked off with the school. Last week, Daryl came home on Wednesday when um, the child minder picked him up and he had a pen on his jumper. And as I've only got the one jumper and they're not rolling around in the dirt without coats on at the moment, obviously they've got coats on, so the jumper's staying relatively clean. So I'm basically, I'm washing it at weekends. So I crossed my fingers and I washed it this weekend and the pen didn't come out. So I went to the teacher this morning and said, um, somebody drew on him on Wednesday. I know who it is, he told me who it is. And she said, oh yeah, continue to send him in with it. I don't mind. And I was like, no, but I do. I said, somebody's drawn on him with permanent pen. I said, what are they do with permanent pen? Turns out it's a whiteboard marker and they use the whiteboards when they're learning their letter forms during phonics. And I'm like, well, that's lovely. I said, but I can't afford to buy a new jumper. Oh, well, no, it's okay. It continues. She just didn't seem to get it. You know, she was all like, well, I don't mind. And I'm like, oh, no, but I fucking do. Do you know what I mean? It's a brand new jumper. We haven't even made it to the end of September. And he's come home with a fucking pen on it. Now, you know, don't get me wrong. I know kids are kids and they will draw on anything they can get their hands on, given half the chance. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, school uniforms are not cheap, are they? And my children didn't draw all over each other's clothes. You know, so I just get the impression it was brushed off and not made like you should not be doing that you are wrecking somebody else's property you know but then i know like i said i know who did it and i get the impression that his dad would probably just turn around and go ah, well, whatever no no you shouldn't do that no 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 naughty boy and just leave it and i'm like oh, fucking livid because my now nicely turned out tidy child and he is quite a tidy child now looks like shit because he's got black pen all over his red jumper yeah <clears throat> calm i am calm it's fine it's not fine but you know what the hell okay so we did the challenges yesterday we did um there was no booze there was one can or less there was no chips did I craft? Yes, I did, because I put the cover on the inside of my junk journal and it took a bloody ages. I did about today. The garden got rained on. The only thing I didn't do was my weights again. But you know what? I had a good excuse, suffering from that migraine. I still felt quite foggy yesterday, really. And I still have a little bit of pain now. I don't know, you know, constant fucking headaches at the moment. So I'm thinking I might have to go and see the GP probably tell me it's stress and give me fucking medication which I don't want I don't want to be on medication but also you know I'm getting a bit fed up with headaches so what can you do cut my hair to take the weight off that didn't solve the problem so I'm sort of at an impasse now so yesterday, I would say my mood was about there. Um, my pain had come down quite a bit. Still, f I just felt like woolly, disconnected and not quite with it. I can't really describe it. Like you've just woken up from a dream sort of thing, you know. Right. I didn't do a lot of steps again yesterday. I did more than what I did on... Saturday but 4,243 so like I said not a lot but better than Saturday where I literally just laid on the sofa and thought I was dying for the day so what did I do yesterday I cleaned the loo so let's change to today's PEM now I have to remember tonight because I got their food out of the freezer um, here in the UK snakes are not allowed to eat live food it's against the law um, so um, they have to be fed 
mice that you buy frozen from pet stores or you can breed mice yourself and as long as you humanely kill them before you feed them to the snakes um and as long as they're killed in a way that won't obviously harm the snakes after ingesting the mice then you, you're allowed to do that but you're not allowed to feed live mice rat any live food to a, a captive snake here in the uk it's against the law so um i go and i buy like a few weeks worth at a time and then i or a few feeds worth because they don't always eat every week um and then i keep it in the freezer in a bubble wrap bag <laughs> and um I could, the trouble is i get it out and i put it on a plate and i leave it in the microwave so that um the cat doesn't decide to investigate or in the summer you know flies and all that lot and then i usually forget until last thing at night because I don't use my microwave a lot. A bit of a shock sometimes you open the microwave and there's a plate full of dead animals <laughs> sitting in there. It's like, ew! Right, last day of the month, let's pull a card. So how are you all? Are you all all right? What have you been doing? I think my milk might be going off. That tea tastes funny today. Thankfully, it was the last of milk. That's the trouble, when you're the only person drinking it, you don't get through it anywhere near as fast and Daryl has milk occasionally in his cereal but he prefers to drink squash at home he drinks milk at school um because they do a scheme for milk but I'm the only person drinking it and I'm trying to do it in two pint batches and I'm thinking I might have to get down to one point the chariot sometimes the chariot does mean a journey but quite often times it doesn't and I know that I'm not planning a journey anywhere so you know um, I, I can't afford to get off the island quite frankly because it's bloody expensive but um, I think in this case as you can see she's not sure which way to go and I think that's what this is um, feeling torn which direction should you choose do you have all the facts to make that decision because if you don't it might be time to look back um, to previous cards and see whether the answer you're looking for is in here. Okay, as to which way you go. That creaky chair. Got to weigh in again tomorrow. I don't anticipate to have lost anything. I know I've started to lose a little bit of weight, but I'd ballooned up before um, it started to go back down, so. And then with the migraine, I've not looked after myself, so okay sleep again i had quite a good night i went to bed nice and early <sighs> well i say nice and early it was before midnight so that's something <clears throat> so half 11. i was awake for a little bit around two i know that much but on the whole it was a good night i felt refreshed and all of that when I uh, woke up today. There we go. That is that one finished. Yay! <laughs> so um, tomorrow I can get this one finished. I will draw the rest of the lines in. I need to hit 16,000 today in steps for my challenge so today i have cleaned the loo oh god i need to blitz my house because it's terrible let's jump to the end here before we know it it's going to be that time of the year is anybody else ready? Is anybody else planning? Write in your lists out. I know my mother's already started the um, the dinner list as to what we're going to buy. I mean, we tend to buy the same shit every every year, but if we don't write it down, one of us will forget something. Oh, but of course, um, everybody in the states will be getting ready for Thanksgiving first, won't you? <clears throat> I wish we did, you know good excuse to have a big party a month before Christmas and like exactly a month before Christmas is Daryl's birthday so 
today, right? Oh my gosh, there's thunderstorms and sunshine and showers tomorrow. There's everything tomorrow, look. The whole kit and caboodle. But today it's cloudy and rainy. Yeah, but there's a wee bit of uh, clear sky up out there. So let's hope that it doesn't go on too long. I suppose we're going down to St. Stuart's mum today and I'm sort of like, oh, I can't get wet. So a high of 17 and a low of 15. Sunrise or well, dawn was 0703 and dusk is 646. Because you can't really say sunrise and sunset when there is no sun to bloody see. Seasons change is the word for today. There we go, all done and ready to go. So I am gonna go and see my mum, I think, quickly, because I haven't seen her all weekend, because she can't come out when the weather's shit, and I obviously didn't go down there because I wasn't feeling very well. Um, yeah, that mug's definitely on the turn. Ah, uh, ew, yuck, I don't think I'll drink any more of that. And then, dependent on the weather, I'll go see Stuart's mum. I probably will anyway, I'll just take a brolly. But, um, I don't like umbrellas, but I don't really want to get wet either. Oh, I hate this time of year. I'm trying to find, uh, like, a, oh, I'd love one of those super dry triple zip jackets. Because I've got a waterproof jacket, but it's not lined. And I don't like it on my skin because it, it feels cold. Um, so I've got to wear a jumper. Or something underneath and not only that it leaks in like one spot on my shoulder but super dry jackets are lined aren't they i would love one but they are well expensive i'd love one of those ones with like the three zips that you do up into it so it blocks out all the wind and that that'd be great for when i get walking over the winter but <sighs> it's money money that i don't have Ugh. whatever anyway i'm gonna go and get on with today. Okay, look, I've got all these pages left at the end. Look, I actually used that one to do a repair um, when I screwed up setting up October. I set aside a page a day for September. Um, there's six there that I've not used, or seven if you count that end one. Um, but of course I haven't always done a page a day and then there's been the occasional bit where I've gone over a page a day so you know it's it's kind of balanced out but like that see I only wrote a little bit but if I hadn't put enough pages in I'd run out you just know I would have but that's fine I can leave them there as to cut up if I need them or whatever you know that's fine I don't mind so yeah we're moving into the the big journal well we're moving into two journals now for october I mean, this is my planner yeah and this will hold hopefully september uh, october november and december if i've done it right <laughs> fingers crossed and then my journal parts of this bit the bit where i stick all my postcards and whatever in will go into my new book so we will see but I'm about there I think with the planning so tonight I need to um, do the evening edition and then I will have to do next week's um, setup because I'm not ready well I say next week's this week's setup starting from tomorrow because I'm not ready yet so I need to find some washi to use and all that lot oh where is me Anyway, excuse me, I'm off and I will see you tonight in the evening edition. I hope you have a fantastic day. 
in whatever it is that you're choosing to do. Take it easy. Hey, welcome back to the evening edition. I've been waiting for Daryl to go to sleep so that I could come on and film this without him coming down and interrupting me. Because <laughs> he's a pain in the bum. Okay, so did I do the chart? I did, didn't I? I remember doing that this morning. I think we journaled a little bit as well. Yeah. So there's a little bit of makeup on. Did the challenges, no booze, one can or less. I had chips though, naughty me. Did I craft? No. Don't be really about today in a minute. A little bit out in the garden and the sun came out. I think we will end the mood about there. Um, I think my pain will be about there. Yes. Steps I can't do yet because obviously I haven't finished the day so I'll have to do those tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I haven't done much else other than a wee bit of laundry. Um, okay, I need to feed the snakes in a moment. And that's, that's pretty much it. It's very, very quick because I did it all this morning. Um, which basically means now at half past eight, I should have this edited by about half past nine. And then I might have time to finish the junk journal. It's sitting there, it's ready. And I want to do it so that come tomorrow I'm ready. But I do need to set up for next week, which I haven't done that yet either. So ah, uh, I think I might record that in a sec. You'll have to wait and see whether I upload other videos or not. If I do, great. If I don't, well, tough. You have to wait until tomorrow. Anyway, um, I'm leaving that there loving how chunky that has turned out that book loving it really worried i'm not gonna love the new book i've made <laughs> but if i do great if i don't well that's just one of them things isn't it you know <sighs> right take it easy um don't forget to leave us comments and kisses down below and a thumbs up uh if you click the book here in the corner just 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 here you will be subscribed and if you hit the bell you'll be notified when i upload new content i really really Ooh, excuse me, I appreciate you joining me today, every day, and all of that lot. Um, it means a lot, you know that, I say this to you quite often, it does mean a lot and I do appreciate it. So I will be back in Tuesday's edition of today in my bouge, October the 1st, guys, Halloween month, we are getting ever, ever closer to Christmas. It's coming. I've already started buying presents. That's like months ago. But I do that. I go around the shops and I go, oh, and then I buy it and put it away. And then I forget what I've bought. And come Christmas, I'm like, wow, look at all this cool shit I bought. <laughs> anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>